What's up, guys? Uh, so I got this book in the mail today. Uh, I just ordered it on Amazon. It's called Angura, Posters of the Japanese Avant-Garde. Uh, and I really bought it for this guy right here. But um, there's some other gems in there that I wasn't expecting. And I didn't realize that these... Uh, like, I've seen these... Um, Tadori, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I've seen a lot of his posters in the past. Uh, I had no idea that these were mostly for, like, plays. Uh, which is actually kind of opens up a whole new um, kind of can of worms. Like, I want to see if, like, are there any video of these? Like, is there? can you watch any of it? Um, but I have yet to dive into that. Interesting note. Mark, you are the love of my life. You're welcome. I love you more than patterns or bubblegum ice cream or little bottles of bathroom stuff, even exfoliate. Or exfoliator? Exfoliator. It makes me happy to know one day we will have a dog named Cesar. Love, Lucy. No, I don't think these are the same people. Um, but I hope they got that dog. I hope that dog is cool. Yeesh. That's dope. I have not read this yet. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I just noticed the keyword here, Pushpin Studio. Uh, and man, a lot of the stuff that I just glanced at, I was like, hmm, that kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, um, what is it, Seymour Schwast and like um, Milton Glaser, John Alcorn, a couple of them. Dude, so rad. Uh, so that's really funny that that just kind of popped up as soon as I opened it. And this is kind of like a precursor. I guess it's giving us some old school, um, some like old school advertising. This is pretty sweet. It's got some cool effects here. This says 1922, 1912 to 16. Damn, that's rad. We got some 1941. Yeah, this is what's up. Tadanori. I said it wrong. Uh, I always say it wrong. I've just never learned it. Uh, Yoku Tadanori. I have another book on the way that is all uh, Yoku artwork. But man, everything rips here. Like, look at these patterns you got of these like nice little moments, which I can't really get in there and see. Uh, I'm, ex I'm excited to see on the next book how much bigger they are i'm hoping they're a lot bigger um i don't think they're gonna be much bigger but we'll find out uh but like that silhouette that gradient this is part of a this is a two-part poster which i don't know was originally planned for that um but it's a kind of like a two-part play uh, i believe it's called like um love in harajuku or something like that uh and this is part one <laughs> and part two is a little bit more wild but we'll get to that yikes Lots of, like, women in bondage, I've noticed. This is tight. Just, like, almost abstract if you didn't see the eyelashes. Very dope. This one caught my eye. This might have been, like, in the preview. I thought that was dope. This one here, also super rad. Just pretty, like, isometrical uh, little match box. Got the eyes on it. Super dope. Oh, the little match girl. <clears throat> I haven't read through any of this yet. This is, like, I guess these are giving me, like, different theater companies. The Black Tent Theater. That's dope. There's some really cool things going on here. It's definitely some, like, overlays. I really love this, like, slash, which is something I've tried to do in the past, but <laughs> never got right. So, I'm gonna... Steal a little bit out of that playbook. Circus, circus, circus. Yeah, this one's dope. A lot of this gradient stuff, which I'm guessing... I didn't really look to see how these were produced. I'm assuming they're like some of them are lithograph and some are probably screen printed. We'll find out. I'll do more research on that. That's the shit right there. <laughs> the Surrealist Manifesto. Uh, gives the designer, playwright, director, um, Hirano Koga, that is, 
Ew. By the way, sitting on a toilet and you can see the shadow of like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> uh, this is dope. The thing I love about these Japanese posters is there's like this broad image. And then like, I don't know if you can tell, but these are like little figures. So like, I don't know how big this poster was originally. <clears throat> I mean, I'm assuming it was pretty large. Uh, so maybe these aren't so small, but still just like that contrast of scales. Pretty rad. The world of Showa, the comedy, pretty stark. Looks like I've got like a dinosaur in there, by the way. Pretty sweet. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Th okay, this one's dope. Don't overlook this, but I'm gonna glare. Shit. Okay. Uh, this one. Yeah. That is what you think it is. Now it says designer uh, Hirano Koga, illustration by uh, Otomo Katsuhiro. So I'm not sure how that worked. If this was like other art that was stolen or if this was not stolen, but you know what I mean? Kind of sampled uh, or appropriated. It, either way, it doesn't matter. This whole thing is just infinitely tight. Um, this, man, there's just like some, these, a lot of this theater, pretty uncomfortable sex stuff, um, just in terms, you know, she's surrounded, completely buck naked, uh, this guy looks friendly-ish, hands in pocket, yeah, I don't know, the body language there, but man, the il illustration is super tight. This treatment with that gradient is amazing. And then like almost like, like I'm assuming there's like stage lights. Uh, that's like a photograph. Dude, just baller. We'll come back to that. <laughs> this looks like a kid show. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is the show on their bib overalls. Freedom Theater. These, uh... I don't want to like compare too much, but like this stuff really puts me in mind of uh, Broken Fingers. It's like real raw, uh, which I'm assuming like real small illustrations, then blown up pretty rough. So you get that kind of like wavery line from the printing process. Yeah, this is another one on the preview that I was just like, yup. Uh, which is a dope title too, Oedipus at Hiroshima. That's... And I kind of thought this was a um, kind of like a thought bubble until I read the title, but either way, super dope. Uh, Koshida Mitsuhiro, illustration by Shirado Sanpei. I'm not familiar with that name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The gruesome characters in this poster are a montage of the original graphic novel by Shirado um, Senpei. So that is going to be like appropriate. I'm assuming the same thing goes for the Otomo piece. But I don't think it says in here. I'm really interested in this. This illustration is super dank. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's maybe it's a, in, like in, condu in conjunction for that play. Uh, it's kind of mind blowing that these well, your Beatles. Oh, I'm sorry. My Beatles. It's mind-blowing that that's what these were. I didn't know what these posters were even for. This is another one, man. So dope. Kushida Mitsuhiro. But yeah. Uh, I have to do more summer reading here. But this, this, this cat does a lot of these posters. This one is rad. This one's cool. But man, this one just like kind of hits you in the gut. I don't know if it's the colors. I don't know if it's like that almost reptilian face just being green. Um, I, I guess it's probably like a little bit of like I can I can that's in English, so I know that's about Vietnam. It's got LBJ down here. I'm assuming these are other figures that I'm not familiar with. This one's real tight. It's very Matrix, but this one. Damn, dude. This Macbeth poster is, like, super uh, in between, like, uh, Peter Max or John Alcorn. Um, but very cool. I mean, this is even... You, I mean, you can tell that they're looking at a lot of this pushpin stuff coming out of New York at the same era. 
um, cause you know, this is a Milton Glaser font, um, that would have been came, coming out of that design house. So rad. I love this blank face, a little smiley. I love you. This is dope too. Very sad. This one is awesome. A dude's carrying a mace and a milk jug. This kind of gives, not the treatment, but like the posing and the subject matter almost reminds me of like Jimbo and, you know, Gary Panter. Um, this one's tight. This type tr treatment is really rad too. This one's really cool. This is like on some raw shit. Yo, <laughs> I remember um, me and my boy Craig saw Paul Pope give a talk in Columbus. And if I said it was at, maybe it was at CC80. Anyway, he gave a talk and I remember him talking about some of these posters that like, uh, you know, and this is, this is a Yoku Tan Tan Tadanori, so sorry, um, starting to get into his work. Uh, but there's a definite THB cover or pinup or something that is a, sh a straight riff on this. Very dope, though. This one's awesome. That is not Tatanori. Wow, what a wild hairdo. Uh, these are so cool, though. Um, I don't know what the significance of the milking is, but it shows up in more than one poster in more than one play uh it definitely is an attention getter this reminds me of like some crumb stuff um if you look back at his like work that he did it wasn't hallmark but whatever company he he had done stuff for um but yeah that's what that puts me in mind of those like stark pastels are kind of sweet too Man, anytime you, you do a like full subst substitution of the face, uh, I'm all about it. And we get a lot of it here. The thing that these dudes do the best is like, I guess, scale. I mean, the whole thing is pleasurable, but like this whole slew of, what is it, nine faces, um, all with like different ca uh, characters. The dog god. We have these like snub nosed dogs up here. This is so dope, the phrenology. This is really rad too. Just so much going on. I think you get some of this like, um, it's almost not, it's not stippling, but like just a lot of that like um, underground comics, like line work and detailing. Dandy. This is tight too. These are all really great. This like, I mean, I don't know, is it like Zap Comics or San Francisco Comics? It's like got some crumb elements, design elements, not just like illustration elements. Yeesh. Dude, the angles, that are just so stark. Those colors are banging. It's like some like, um, so rad this one's cool with the wash in the back but that's dark white where the flesh is yeah here we go some more yoku tadanori i'm gonna learn this by the time we're done um this is awesome like every time i look at these i'm excited to get the, the other book in because i must i just want it to be bigger i can't remember if it is or not um this book is a lot smaller than I thought it was, but man, it's just like all these little details, this little like Metro, this like um, Lotus Blossom or whatever. I don't know, flowers. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. This one here, Love in Shinjuku. I was wrong about the city. <laughs> um, and this, or John Silver, Love in Shinjuku. And then the most, much more suggestive, John Silver continued. But, uh, th like, the type here, uh, you can't see it, but it is so rad. This is Capsule, 
and it's all very kind of psychedelic wrapped together but they have the same there's there's similar elements it's definitely sequential uh this was the first one from 1967 this is the second one from 1968 the sun is like here and the sun is kind of like rising in the next one you can see this like diagonal movement This one is real rad. This one's about like some kamikaze with some like uh, harikari. Virgin City. This one's dope. It's got some like um, some some manga element going on here. It almost looks like a spine. Oh, uh, I've seen this pop up a lot recently. These like glassy manga eyes. Um, let me see if I can get it in there that are just like completely isolated. But that's funny, that's 1969. It's a red. Oh, this is more John Silver, but this is not a, a Tadanori piece. This looks like it's got a photograph. definitely photographed this one's pretty dank these are both really rad like this uh like pattern of like leaves or petals like overlaying that one, that's such a cool element yep the thread princess this is tight this reminds me of uh like the Napoleon piece, not piece, the painting. And this is Mizuki uh, Shigeru. So I don't, it might say here, but this is probably swiped from some manga of his, but uh, I don't know how to say that. There we go. Some more Yoku, Tadanori. Some more Milken, guys. I didn't do it. Um, this is red. I don't know what these structures are, but I see them a lot. I need to do some research. <laughs> the Mikado's Enormous Balls. Pretty dope. Oh, okay. And so this is the first time I've seen this. Like, um, Morizuki Sumido. Um, is the designer of the poster, but then it also credits the calligraphy by um, Yaho Shin, or I'm sorry, Yano Shin. So it's got some really rad um, type of or, um, calligraphy. Sorry about the glare. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Um, this is kind of rad. It's got some weird photographs. But yeah, and we're getting more calligraphy uh, credits. It's interesting. This one's cool. Going back to the basics, I have a, uh, I'm assuming it's a lithograph from Japan during the war, after the war. It's my grandfather's. But anyway, this like printing process, like it looks like it's printed on like paper that's disintegrating. Um, it's very red. Tales of Manly Flesh. That's what's up. This is really dope. Uh, everything about that's really dope. <laughs> uh, the, you know, you get the border there. And then we have this, like, one color photographer. Xerox is just, like, sliced and diced. It's really cool. And that's about it. Give some other elements there. The end.